Stranded in space in a tin can, all alone and without help? That sounds like a challenge that could be just right for us. Welcome to a little review of the new indie space survival game Tin Can. Without big words or explanations we are thrown into the vastness of space and that only in a small escape pod. At the bottom left we see a timer that runs as long as we are alive. The operation is simple, with the classic shooter control we can move, with the mouse we look around and with the spacebar and control we can crouch or stand up. The mouse buttons function as hands and for interaction and with the F button we can interact with objects and displays or even hold on to the handles provided for this purpose. We were thrown into an asteroid field with our tin can and have only one task, to survive. And as we have already noticed, there has already been one or the other impact. And our systems are still running. But it doesn't stay that way for too long. Gradually systems fail and survival becomes more and more difficult. Depending on which system fails, we have to take other meshes. Therefore, we should first get an overview of the systems and how they work. There are several main systems, such as the electricity and energy supply, the gravitation generator or, of course, especially important for us, the oxygen supply. If, for example, the gravity in the capsule fails, we float around and objects float towards us. If we lose the main energy, this is definitely a really bad sign, and if we lose the oxygen supply or the oxygen saturation falls below a vital level, we will die very quickly. We can interact with most objects in order to perform a function, for example, or we can remove and expand parts. To repair one system, it may be necessary to use parts from another system. So at some point we have to wait up which system we need most urgently. However, especially at the beginning it is relatively difficult to distinguish which system should have priority at which point in which time. Therefore we have to deal with our tin can so that it's not squashed prematurely. After only two minutes we have already various visual and acoustic alarms and are feverishly looking to localize the problems and get them under control. And after a quick look into the life support system we see some error messages and displays that do not suggest anything good. What we have already managed however is to switch off the alarm so that we can calmly think about what we should do next. Finding the right components to solve the problem is first of all the priority and therefore instruction are of course very important. And fortunately we have discovered comprehensive instruction for our Medusa class space raft. We have not only stored all error codes here but also presented all components and functions. But of course we still have to read and understand the whole thing. But here we get a lot of tips and information about the system. However, this only helps to extend that we can fix minor problems and delay the inevitable a bit. At some point we have such serious effects and disturbances in our wellness temple that we breathe difficulty, see poorly and slowly take care of our last words. Our survival is only guaranteed for a few seconds and we can already think about what we can do better the next time we try. And after just under 8 minutes we are at the end of our oxygen saturation can no longer be measured. How much refit time till we can take her out again? Eight weeks, sir. But you don't have eight weeks, so I'll do it for you in two. Mr. Scott, have you always multiplied your repair estimates by a factor of four? Certainly, sir. How else can I keep my reputation as a miracle worker? Your reputation is secure, Scotty. But since we are unfortunately not Scotty, we have to try the whole thing ourselves. Through trial and error and of course with the instructions. And as soon we have got the first major problem under control and have taken a step further, we immediately feel like Scotty. And with that we earned a little break first, however rest breaks are really only very short, that is as soon as we have reached a reasonably good condition the next warning light come on and we are facing the next disaster. Oh she's got captain, if I push it any harder the whole thing will blow. 
because no matter what we do it becomes more and more demanding and we always have to come up with something new to live a few seconds longer. Therefore we need training time and above all our heads to familiarize ourselves with the systems and understand the process in our tin can. However, that is exactly the motivation and factor in the game to learn something new every time and to take a step further. What might have killed us in the first round is no longer a problem in the following rounds. We keep encountering new challenges and events. So if you are looking for a challenge and want to use your head, then you are definitely in the right direction with Tin Can. I had a lot of fun even if I died regularly.